Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and some Star Wars Shatter Points. So we've got some of the initial releases here. Today we're going to take a look at some of the terrain uh, and then we'll get into some of the other box sets that we've picked up so far for it. So, but, the, and the core set does come with some nice terrain as well, but it is nice that they've already released a couple of terrain packs just to start adding a little bit of variety to the selection of terrain, given that the game's at a slightly different scale than Legion. So we're going to take a look today at the Take Cover Terrain Pack, so that's more or less what we're going to get inside there. So we'll be right back after we get this open up for you guys. Alrighty, so here's everything we get inside, and the assembly is not going to be all that complicated, but we get a couple of big chunky sprues. So here's some of that rock terrain. And again, about the quality level you'd expect that you've seen so far over the last years from Legion and other things Atomic Mass has been doing. So... Again, overall, shouldn't be all that complicated for assembly. This is that big building here that we've seen in the box cover. So again, nice that it's mostly big, chunky pieces, which should make assembly more or less a snap. Thank God overall it's not all that fiddly. A couple of things already kind of snapped off the sprue here, but again, more of those rocks. Other bits and pieces here. We got some loose odds and ends here. Got the ladders, of course, the ubiquitous ladders that we've seen just about every piece of terrain for the game so far. Since vertical play is going to be a big factor in this one, more so than. Legion this is that little piece where the swoop bike will be built on. So, there's that. And then the last piece here, sort of the building cover and building rear. That gives you again an idea. I like that they've also not gone off the deep end with detail too. Um, so it's, you know, it's about what you expect for Star Wars, sort of that rundown look, but again, without going ridiculously crazy on little bits and pieces here. Oh, and then I think we got our little garbage droid in there somewhere as well. I'm not sure if that's all the pieces for them or not, but there you have it. So in total, you get one, two, three, four and six big chunky pieces of uh, sprue here. Lots of stuff on the frame and will make you about uh, six or seven terrain pieces depending on how you organize and build it. And then of course you get your little handout here. If you feel like you do need the instructions on how to build it, just follow the QR code, but that'll take you there. But so definitely nice to add a little bit more variety from what you get in the core set, because after a while that's definitely gonna get repetitive. So this should mix things up nicely. So this is the take cover train pack, worth obviously getting at least one or maybe more if you want uh, just to have a couple extra copies of the same stuff and start adding a little bit even more variety to what you've got for Shatterpoint. So we'll have plenty more Shatterpoint coming for you very shortly as we work our way through our initial sets that we picked up. And then as we move along, as we pick up some more factions here and there, we'll certainly have that for you guys. Um, assembly shouldn't take long for the stuff. And then we're gonna just go with a very quick, hopefully decent enough paint job and then start getting you guys some actual game content as well. So stay tuned there. Let us know what you think of this particular terrain set. And Again, we'll have plenty more for you coming soon. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.